Excel Tutorial Capital Asset Pricing Model Asset pricing models consist of estimating asset expected return through its risk premium linear relationship with factors portfolio's expected risk premiums and macroeconomic factors. This topic is part of investment portfolio analysis with Excel Curse. Feel free to take a look at Curse curriculum by clicking link at the description box below. This tutorial has an educational and informational purpose and doesn't constitute any type of trading or investment advice. Please read full tutorial disclaimer at the end of the video. An example of asset pricing model is the Capital Asset Pricing Model or CAPM which consists of estimating asset expected return through its risk premium linear relationship with market expected risk premium. For full reference I recommend that you read Jack Trainer, William Sharp, John Lindner, Jan Mosing, Craig French, The Trainer Capital Asset Pricing Model published in the Journal of Investment Management in 2003. As a formula, the expected asset return is equal to a risk-free rate of return plus the asset beta, which describes the linear relationship between asset and market risk premiums, multiplied by the expected market return minus the risk-free rate of return. Beta coefficient consists of estimating asset market systematic risk through the linear relationship between asset and market risk premiums. As a formula, beta coefficient of the asset is equal to, within the numerator we have the covariance between asset and market risk premiums divided by the variance of the market risk premium. Jensen's alpha consists of estimating asset expected excess return through the difference between asset expected return and its theoretically estimated expected return. For full reference, I recommend that you read Michael Jensen, The Performance of Mutual Funds in the Period from 1945 to 1964, published in the Journal of Finance in 1968. As a formula, Jensen's alpha for the asset is equal to the expected asset return minus its theoretically estimated expected return through the capital asset pricing model. Great, so let's go into the Excel file so that we can study capital asset pricing model with greater detail. Excellent, so here we are within the Excel file. In its first worksheet, we have the capital asset pricing model data which corresponds to three columns of data. First, dates, which are in a monthly frequency. If we select here, we see that the first is at A6, which is the beginning of 2007, and if we press Ctrl down arrow, we go into the end of that column, which is all the way into the end of 2016. So we press Ctrl up and down arrow again. Therefore, we have 10 years of data or 12 observations for each of those years, therefore 120 observations for those three time series. The next column corresponds to SPY minus RF, that's the asset risk premium. SPY is the investment vehicle, ETF investment vehicle, which intends to replicate the Standard & Poor's 500 index, therefore its risk premium corresponds to its monthly arithmetic return minus that corresponding month's risk-free rate of return. And then we have the third column, which is MKT minus RF, that's the market risk premium, which corresponds to the market portfolio, monthly arithmetic return, minus the risk-free rate of return of the corresponding month. So with this data, we can proceed now to do the calculation of the capital asset pricing model. Notice that we'll be doing first with the corresponding formulas, and then through a linear regression. So we have CAPM calculation as the next worksheet, and within it we have here the calculation of Jensen's alpha and two ways of calculating that market beta. So first, let's see how we can calculate Jensen's alpha. At cell B7, by selecting it, within the formula var we see that it's equal to intercept function, 
And here we have the dependent or explained variable, which is from that CAPM data, column B, from row 6 to row 125, therefore those 10 years of data. Column B is that asset risk premium. And the explanatory or independent variable is that same worksheet, column C, with the market risk premium. Notice that this Jensen's alpha is the expected excess return, this is with a monthly frequency, on top of the exposure of that corresponding asset to the market risk premium. So next we have the market beta, that's the measure of systematic risk and the exposure of the corresponding asset to that corresponding risk factor. So we have calculation A, which as we can see here within the formula bar, it's equal to slope built in Excel function. And again, we have within it the corresponding dependent or explained variable, which is the asset risk premium found at column B, also from row 6 to row 125. And the independent or explanatory variable is going to be also from that same worksheet, which is the APM data, column C from row 6 to row 125, therefore the market risk premium. And as mentioned within the slides, we can also do the calculation of this market beta with the corresponding formula in which we have, by selecting here cell B9, it equal to covariance.s, so we're calculating sample covariance, and this is the covariance between the two risk premiums. First, we have the asset found in column B within that CAPM data worksheet, and then for the market risk premium. So we calculate their sample covariance, and we divide that result by the variance, and notice here also VAR.S, so we're calculating sample variance as well of the corresponding market risk premium data found at column C within that same worksheet. An important observation about this calculation of market beta, this formula of covariance divided by variance, is that it can only be used whenever we have a single factor model or that single re linear regression, uh, which is the case of the capital asset pricing model. And as we can see here, these two estimates of the market beta as a measure of systematic risk are equivalent. So we also have another option of calculating both Jensen's alpha and market beta, which is done right here, which is the capital asset pricing model linear regression. Notice that this is the summary output of the linear regression calculation. That linear regression calculation is done here at the data tab. We have the data tab and within it analyzed, we have data analysis that corresponds to one of the data analysis tools. This corresponding linear regression was done before recording this tutorial, so done as dependent variable, as mentioned previously, the asset risk premium as independent or explanatory variable, the market risk premium, and printing the result of that linear regression in a new worksheet, which is this one, which has already been formatted. So specifically about this corresponding worksheet, we're going to focus right here. By scrolling down, we see the coefficients. Notice that this again is a regression with a constant or intercept, and that constant or intercept corresponds to Jensen's alpha, the expected excess return. This is with a monthly frequency on top of the exposure of the asset to that market risk premium factor. And as we can see, the result is equivalent to the one we calculated previously. And then we have the next coefficient from this linear regression, which is, as mentioned, the corresponding market beta or the measure of systematic risk. And as we can see, this estimate is also the same estimate we made previously with both the slope function and the formula related to the covariance, sample covariance, divided by sample variance. Excellent. So let's go back into the slides. And as mentioned previously, 
This tutorial has an educational and informational purpose and doesn't constitute any type of trading or investment advice. Please, pause the video now so you can read the full tutorial disclaimer. Okay, so with this we finish this tutorial. Thank you for watching.